In mid-September, the Marshall apartment building opened to residents even as construction continued on the structure. Citrus TV reporter Ricky Sayer explains how a deal struck between the Marshall's owner and the city is keeping residents safe. Anyone who's walked on Marshall Street recently has noticed the Marshall, a just opened apartment building right off campus. Residents of the building, many of which are Syracuse University students, are noticing something too. About five to ten firefighters are regularly stationed around the building. I know that they're here to protect us and serve purpose. That purpose can be tied to the building not opening on time. Residents moved in in September, even as exterior work was still being done to the building. The firefighters are there as a result of a deal struck between the marshal and the city. The marshal's owners agreed to pay the fire department to have firefighters patrol the site, making sure everything is safe. In return, the state granted the marshal a temporary certificate of occupancy, allowing for students to move into the building that is still under construction. And the matter that's under code compliance review is the exterior wall assembly of the building, which is actually still being installed at, at this time. To keep students safe, construction workers are only allowing pedestrians to walk under part of the building. The concern is that a tool or a piece of construction material being used to finish off the building will fall onto pedestrians walking below. Now, some students we talked to have been having some issues living in the building. One student said that her asthma has been acting up as a result of excessive dust created by construction. For others, the main issue is noise. Some students were told the building would be fully completed next month, but a construction superintendent told us he doesn't expect to finish the project until the end of the year. Ricky Sayer, Citrus TV News. Thanks, Ricky. It has been three days since a gunman opened fire at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh and killed 11 people. Citrus TV, Citrus TV reporter Justine Murray tells us how the Syracuse community is coming together to fight hate.